people, Johnny Sedum here. We are headed out of Hillsboro Inlet today, just in our local waters out of Deerfield, Pompano Beach. And I'm going out today with my friends, Padat and PJ in the back. These are some good buddies that I've fished with quite a bit in the past, uh, avid slow pitch guys. And um, my, my dude PJ there in the back just got back from a trip to the Maldives oh, yeah. where you guys were like, uh, dog to tuna? Am I saying that right? Dog, yeah, dog, yeah, dog, dog to yellow fin, yellow big fin, eyes, big eyes, all what? kinds of grouper, trout, you name it. It was, it was there. The Maldives, it's like that's like for me, that's like you know, like a, a bucket list place to go to. I think for a lot of anglers, yeah. especially guys that love artificial slow pitch and uh, pop in Absolutely. and stuff like that. So, hopefully, I could pop up some pictures for you guys on that. But you know what? Our plan today is is to go out and catch fish. So we're not sure exactly what we're gonna dig into, but I know that we wanna um, definitely put something in the ice box and, and get tight today. Something interesting about the boat that we're on today, but that's boat, he's our captain today, is it has Sea Keeper in it, which is something I've never experienced before. So hopefully I can give show you guys what that's about and um, we'll see what happens. Stick around, this is gonna be an awesome video. You guys decided to pursue our passion as we hit destination fishing spots in our local waters out of Pompano Beach, Florida. We want to fill you in on what we have learned along the way. All right, guys, we are we're deep. We're very deep, and uh, this is a, a proven spot for Vadat and PJ that. Uh, catches golden towel fish so i'm going to show you guys what i'm putting down you can see i've got a 500 gram torpedo johnny jig and then i'm using my uh max l rage 90 uh, power gear with a power four pro jigger and you need a heavier rod to be able to work this heavy jig and we're about to drop down to the bottom also you'll notice that i'm wearing gloves these are the afco jig, jig pro gloves um, they're designed for slow pitch jigging and the reason why we wear these gloves out here is because the line that we're using is super thin so i'm using a 20 pound test um, that actually is like a 0.19 diameter it's very thin very very thin i think it's actually thinner than that and um what happens is it cuts into your fingers whenever you're level lining because it's so thin so it's it's pretty necessary to wear them pj doesn't have them on we'll check his fingers at the end of the uh at the end of the the his first drop so let's go catch some fish it's crazy but that was just reeling up and then boom gets smoked on the way up on a deep drop let's see what swimming all the way up he's swimming up where are you at it looks like you're under over no put your tips together there we go that's it that's it little uh i'm gonna go Oh, you're getting close. Come. Here we go. Gotta be close by now, huh? Looks like you're straight up and down. Color. Yeah. You got color. Tuna. Tuna fish. Oh, there's a mahi with him. And there's a mahi with him. Oh, bigger oh, tuna. Yeah. And a little mahi. Yeah. yeah. I'm waiting, you guys. You want to throw? You want to throw? Ah, I told it. Oh, oh, you got the, you got the avocado last second. He can't even hit it. I mean, it's a decent tuna. It's five pounder. Look at that. That's exactly what you wanted, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice tuna. Nice tuna. So Dad's dropping a 700 gram jig down there. And uh, tuna, tuna went ahead and crushed it on the way up. Sweet. One in the bucket. Well guys, welcome back to Vedette Fishing TV. We just hooked up on another fish. Uh, PJ and I are sitting here doing a whole lot of nothing we haven't really been fishing actually we're, we're just uh watching him fish going at it for quite some time quite a minute and uh let's see what comes up had a nice tug down there we switched it up to about six and 700 gram jigs so we could stay vertical 
And this looks like a really nice fish, guys. You can see the color out there. Look at it, we got some bubbles. Beautiful golden tile. He's just barely hooked. And, oh, look at that. Look at that, man. Man, that happens a lot where they get hooked on the side right there. Look at that. That is something right there. What a prize, man. What do we call him, PJ? Golden mud guppy. A golden mud guppy right there. And they are slippery, slimy. They also call him poor man's lobster. <laughs> but he hit hard, right? He hit, yeah, yeah. He hit very hard. Look, he got some blue eyes. Beautiful, man. Nice Thank work you. for that. Thank you. Nice work. Let's look at... This is a... a one of the Johnny Jigs hooks right there. That's the one that, that actually got him on the bottom. But I believe this is a 6-0 right here. And you can see he's got it tied, spliced into a ball bearing swivel right there. And uh, he's got a 700 gram uh, jig on. So that was a nice catch. All right. Wait, it's gotta be a big fish. All right, guys, my buddy PJ behind me is hooked up on something that at first he wasn't even moving. Yeah. And now he's, now he's uh, gaining on him. He can feel some head shakes, so we know that uh, it's definitely definitely the right species we're looking Get for. Closer. Whatever he is, it's what we're looking for. But check it out. PJ's got the Temple Reef Grand Crew, and he's also matched that with a um, Accurate Valiant um, 600 double in. And what he's done is outfitted it with a power handle. So you'll see that the handle is different color than the real. I think it's a good look. I like it. And uh, so he's and and something interesting. He's deep dropping with the power too. So, but this Grand Crew's got a beefed up butt section on it, so it makes it possible to do. But uh, so I've been uh, literally watching these two guys catch fish all day. It's been uh, very exciting. I haven't uh, put any. Uh, you know bait down or anything like that i just wanted to came out here to watch them and if you guys believe that you'll believe anything so i've been fishing hard i just haven't caught a fish yet but you know what a fish a fish in the boat's a fish for everybody my fish it's my first bit of action today too so. yeah so it's all right it's all right see you in about 10 minutes 10 minutes so Cap over here is gonna move just a little bit, get us yeah, close on, exactly. make it a little bit easier on uh, PJ. You'll see that up top, so he's got these garments, but up top he's got the Simrad up there, which has the Seymour Maps chip in it. So we've been using that quite a bit today. Let's see what we got. Oh yeah, they wake up as soon as they see the light, man. They wake up. You gotta be ready for that. You see the color. Pretty soon. Yep. And what's scary is you don't know how they're hooked, you know, and a lot of them are just barely on the side or something like that. And then they see that. Right in the mouth. Yeah, right in the mouth. All right. All right. Let's, well, let's see if you can put your hook where your mouth is. <laughs> yeah, he woke up a little bit. He said, no, 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 this is the wrong way. He's down there relaxing in his sweet little mud home. You know, he's got a little, oh, color. Got a little yeah. burrow down there. We got color. Yeah. Here he comes. And bubbles. And bubbles. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see, what's the verdict? Definitely looks like the right species. I think you struck gold, my man. <laughs> hey, he looks like a nice one too, bro. That looks like a really nice fish. Yep. Here we go. Yeah, he's decent. This is nice. He's decent. Yeah, this is nice. Look at this fish. This is nice. Yes. Oh, oh. dude. 
That's a big boy. Yeah. No, he's a real one. That's a real one. This is yours. That's yours. That is fantastic, man. Hold it. That is a that's a nice fish, PJ. Thank you, sir. Hi, and look at that cap shot. Fantastic, guys. Wow. That's incredible, man. Beautiful fish. Yep. Absolutely incredible. Let's see if you curl that tail towards me a little bit as you pick All them up. All day out here searching for a bite. Finally got one. That's a slob. That is a slob. You know all right, what's our guesses on the size of this fish? What do you got? 27. Ooh, all right. 25 and a half. Oh, man. Okay. I'm going, I'm going 26. 26. And final verdict, I'm going to go 22, 23. 23. It's kind of all over the place, but it seemed like 23. Ah, man, he looks better than that. Yeah, I'm always confused. Every time, I swear. You know, before I started putting scales on on the boat and weighing fish, I, I'm pretty sure I'm 10 pounds over on every fish that I think down for one second. All right, guys, so with that, it was a rock start today. Just got another tuna, a nice tuna, 11 pound tuna. Got him here in the bucket bleeding out. Look at that blue line he's got down him. But uh, our speed over ground has changed over to, we're about uh, four miles per hour over ground, which is it's way too fast for us to be out here deep. So that concludes our deep dropping for the day. But I wanted to show you guys something cool. So Vada has a sea keeper on the boat right here. And right now it's it's on. And let's see what it let's I'm gonna stand up here. Hold on. Here stand stand sideways. Alright. Sea keeper on. Alright, now turn sea keeper off. It's open. Let's see. Just wait. Yeah, there we go. And now we're moving. All right, we're rocking. All right, turn it on. Turn it on. And then, it's on. boom. That's oh, crazy. Man. That's that's just amazing. I I don't know if, I mean, you could, see, I'm not sure if you guys can see these waves right here. You know, they're not huge, but they're enough to make you rock uh, substantially in a boat. And the sea keeper is just keeping us completely level. And I wonder, does that help for guys that are seasick, you think? Or? Yeah. yeah, it's gonna help. It's gonna and keep you. For somebody who somebody gets seasick, having a sea keeper on the boat will probably keep you nice and uh, not throwing up. But uh, all right, guys, let's see what else we can get into. Alright guys, we're in about about 400 feet of water right now. We just moved in. Um, PJ caught a massive uh, golden tile and, and uh, Badat uh, also got a nice golden tile. I've been stumped today. So we moved it in to about 400 feet of water and I've got my tuna teaser on with 320 gram and an accurate value of 500 in and uh, power three. The wind's moving pretty good so we're gonna have to cast into our drift. We're gonna see, this spot's known for some uh, tunas and amberjacks so we'll see if we can uh, pull up a couple of those and then we're gonna head into the fillet table. Let's see what happens.
Alright guys, last spot of the day. Uh, we just limited out limited out on black fan tunas. And uh, we got a couple of nice golden tiles in the cooler, so we're gonna just see what happens on this last spot here. Here we go. What's up guys, I'm back here at the dock with my buddy PJ here and uh, about to cut up this golden tile. And dude, today it started out, we were in like, we had 500 grams on. Yeah. Then it went into 600 grams, then 700 grams. And by the time we finished up, you know, Dropping 900 grams yeah. and we weren't even, we weren't sticking bottom really. And, um, and that's just, you know, it's a matter of feeling your jig down there and knowing yeah, you that want, you're hitting bottom. You want to feel bottom, absolutely, when you're tile fishing. So if, if you can't hold bottom and feel bottom, then... That's right. You, if you could feel bottom, what would you, you say earlier? You got a chance. You, you got a feel chance. bottom, you got a chance. You got a chance. But guys, check out my boy PJ's uh, SPJ apparel on his shirt. This is his brand of clothing that, that he uh, makes. And uh, we have it in Johnny Jigs. And then I think you could buy it on his website as well. But um, I want to show you guys what the inside of this golden tile fish looks like and look at the size of this guy. This guy is just a beast that PJ got on the last drop and unfortunately but I did not get a chance to get a golden tile today because uh, I was still going at it but our, our drift speed got up to like four knots, four knots. and, and then by the time you get up to four knots it's like almost impossible to uh, to, to stick bottom to know where bottom's at and if you can't feel bottom then like you said you know you're not going to catch anything but but we did end up moving in to uh about 400 feet we're looking for um blackfin tunas and also the uh, uh if i can get a little grit here you got to have a little bit of oomph to get over this bone so these guys got a big spine that you got to get up over it and then down on the other side there but they say this golden tile is like a um 
poor man's lobster is what it tastes like, but a lot of guys really love eating this uh, fish. Um, I like it, it's good. It's not my wife's favorite, but uh, she won't turn her nose up at any fish that I bring home. <laughs> so basically I'm just gonna get through the one side there. Once I get through that side, then I can get up over this rig cage here. I don't know if you guys have ever seen uh, Reed the Fishmonger on uh, TikTok. He's got TikToks. I think he's got a YouTube channel he's working on as well. But this dude can cut fish so fast. And uh, like honestly, he makes us guys, uh, normal fillet guys, look like amateurs the way he does it. I gotta get through this head a little more. It's tricky on this coat. Yeah. Yep. But the meat's almost like a grouper meat here. Yeah, nice white meat. Yeah. Flakes. So now I'm, I'm right at the rib case, so I'm just kind of rolling over the top of that right there, and I'm basically done with this fillet. Some guys can get through that rib cage and out the other side. Crystal likes to. I just stop right there, and then look at the meat on that, guys. That is, it's like, it's, you know, the white color of, of grouper. I think it's a little firmer texture, but that's it, guys. So. Thanks for going fishing with me today. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. You could also follow us on Facebook and Instagram. And we got a few TikToks going. So um, we'll see you guys on the next one. Jig on.